This is the first time a sex change surgery has been ordered in California. Recommended for you this K-pop superstar is crushing the time 100 readers poll this K-pop superstar is crushing the time 100 readers poll watch James Bond return in the first trailer for Spectre watch James Bond return in the first trailer for Spectre watch Barack Obama do his best impression of Frank Underwood from House of Cards watch Barack Obama do his best impression of Frank Underwood. These 10 wildlife creatures will give you nightmares promoted these 10 wildlife creatures will give you nightmares lol what sponsored links by Sacramento, a federal judge on Thursday ordered California's corrections department to provide a transgender inmate with sex change surgery, the first time such an operation has been ordered in the state. The ruling marks just the second time nationwide that a judge has issued an injunction directing a state prison system to provide the surgery said Ilona Turner, legal director at the Transgender Law Center in Oakland, which helped represent Norsworthy. The previous order in a Massachusetts case was overturned last year and is being appealed to the U.S. Supreme Court. In his ruling in California, Tegar said the surgery has actually been performed just once on an inmate, an apparent reference to a person who castrated himself in Texas then was given the surgery out of necessity. Norsworthy, who was convicted of murder, has lived as a woman since the 1990s and is what Degas termed severe gender dysphoria, a condition that occurs when people's gender at birth is contrary to the way they identify themselves. The weight of the evidence demonstrates that for Norsworthy, the only adequate medical treatment for her gender dysphoria is SRS, Degas wrote, referring to sex reassignment surgery. California Department of Corrections and Rehabilitation officials said they are considering whether to appeal the ruling. This decision confirms that it is unlawful to deny essential treatment to transgender people in or out of prison, said Chris Hayashi, executive director of the Transgender Law Center. The bottom line is no one should be denied the medical care they need. If the order stands, Norsworthy would be the first inmate to receive such surgery in California, said Joyce Hayhoe, a spokeswoman for the federal receiver who controls California prison medical care. Hi-Ho said it's not known how much the surgery would cost, but it could run as high as $100,000, depending on the circumstances. Corrections officials, in previous court filings, argued that Norsworthy has received proper medical and mental health care for more than 15 years and is in no immediate medical danger if the surgery is not performed. Her care included counseling, mental health treatment and hormone therapy that the department said has changed her physical appearance and voice to that of a woman while helping her find her gender identity.